you're going to be one of the top teams in the country, you should play other top teams. Saturday in Knoxville, Tennessee, Oklahoma. This is supposed to be the year to break through the 100,000 fans behind you. A terrific atmosphere. You have to win this game. On the banks of the Tennessee River, the Vol Navy docked and ready. The hungry Tennessee faithful excited about the 2015 edition of Butch Jones' team back in the nation's top 25. Tailback Jalen Hurd, part of a talented backfield, led by junior quarterback Josh Dobbs. But into Knoxville comes Bob Stoops, Oklahoma Sooners, with their high-powered passing attack and a new quarterback in Baker Mayfield. A big interconference battle of the Big 12 and the SEC is next. College football prime time presented by Hilton. A matchup, the Tennessee Volunteers and the Oklahoma Sooners. And there hasn't been this kind of field in Knoxville at Neyland Stadium in a long, long time. You see the checkerboard of the fans and the way they're dressed around Neyland. Aaron Medley to kick. Blasts it out of the end zone. As Oklahoma takes the field in a pistol set on second down at 10. They go straight ahead and a big opening and a first down run by P. Ryan. So the first time he touches it, he goes for 11 yards. Well, again, he just was not much of a factor last week, and he's too good of a player. He's a powerful inside runner. Not in a three-point stance, and he'll be coming around the corner. Actually, he drops into coverage. And the throw is right on target to midfield to D.D. Westbrook. And a nice throw it was by Mayfield. Nice protection. His time in the hospital on his iPad watching film. Did a good job there to get the interception and give it to the offense. As Hurd stopped after a short game. Tennessee right around midfield of 15. And a first down at the Sooner 35-yard line. Now it's Dobbs wanting to throw. Josh has all kinds of daylight out there. Throws on the run. Incomplete. Broken up. It's a nice job by Stephen Parker. Jawan Jennings was the intended receiver. See, last year when these teams met in Norristown. All three receivers to the left side of Dobbs here on first and goal at the six. And now it's Hurd trying to go the other way and tries to stiff arm his way back to the line of scrimmage. And Zach Sanchez, the all Big 12 defensive back, wouldn't let him get there. Camara in there. Dobbs is under center for one of the few times. And it is Camara. Got hit at the line. Didn't get there. Able to get too much going except that one run on the corner that got him down first and goal. He might get a pitch here. Nope, that was going to keep it. He's going to lose to Eric Stryker. Hung with him on the corner. Well, your tackle. Well played by Stryker. You know. No fair catch this time, but only about a yard on the return. Nice coverage by Oklahoma, but again, great field position. He had no catches last week. They got to get him the football. Here's Hurd trying to take it wide on the right side and cuts it back up. Had the blocking to the sideline, and he got two or three out of it. He's got Cameron Sutton on the other end, and he's backpedaling to the 15. Made the first man miss, not the second wave. Again, excellent coverage by the Sooners punt to was on 14 carries and it looks like he's going to get that many and probably more tonight got it again but no gain on the play this is a huge play right now for the Oklahoma Sterling Shepard is to the top of your screen their most experienced receiver from a year ago Mayfield fires it out to him and a leaping catch and a pickup of seven Dimitri Flowers of fullback sets up on the right side, and that's where the run's going to come from Mayfield. And tiptoes out of bounds with the first one. 
Mixon, the tailback, is actually standing in his own end zone. He'll get the carry, and he got popped at the line of scrimmage and bounced it outside. Good run by Mixon out to the about the 14-yard line. Looked like that was going to go for nothing, and he got six out of it. Clock at four. The run is Mixon's again, and he got the corner. Best run of the night so far for Joe Mixon. Boy, really nice job by Mayfield getting the play communicated, and then watch D.D. Westbrook, number 11, out on the perimeter, holding his block on Sutton. That allowed Mixon to get to the corner and tackle him at the line of scrimmage by Mayfield. Now it's Samaj J. P. Ryan, and he takes some volunteers with him for a five or six. A freshman faking a punt anyway. Siebert's last one was short. This time he got away a beauty. Great fake job by Sutton, but the ball's going to die at the five. Sutton came. Now they rush Josh Malone across the field. So three guys over there. Dobbs throws across his body, incomplete. Too high for Von Pearson. Nice play by Steven Parker. Got his left hand over the top, knocked that pass away. He led the team with 11 sacks last year. So that's a big chunk out of their pass rush. Straight up the gut, P. Ryan. Nice run, almost nine. And just to follow up on that, the advantage that Tennessee has had this game so far is that you have two outstanding rushers in Majit on one side and Barnett on the other side. Now, Oklahoma can kind of zero in on making sure they block Barnett. Samaj P. Ryan again. It'll be close to a first down. He might have rolled to it as Jalen Reeves Maben. Mayfield, play action, throws a rocket out the flat to Duran Neal. Best throw and catch so far in this game for Oklahoma. That is a long throw from the left hash mark to the right sideline, and he's got to get it over and underneath zone defender. Watch him throw it right over the corner before the safety can come Steve over. Siebert is a putter. Now you'll see him as a place kicker. Two for two a week ago, including a 41-yarder. This will be a 35-yard attempt. Trying to get something on the board for number 19, Oklahoma. Seabird's kick is up and good. So the Sooners had to wait till under five minutes. Something out of back to the future. <laughs> Here's a straight ahead run. No gain for Kamara. Here, Josh Dobbs. They're down at seven. Steps up in the pocket. Not smart with the ball. I think his teammate got on top of it, though. He fumbled it. Player, watch the quick rush off the edge. He gets there, working against a tight end. That's a, that's a hard assignment for a tight end to try to block a good speed rusher. Devontae Bond at 245 pounds and quick, very powerful, and he just overpowered Ethan Wolf to the quarterback. First sack of the game will force a punt here for Tennessee. Trevor Daniel, as you look behind him, that was almost exactly what Tennessee did not want. On the bounce, Shepard got it at the 28. Nice return across the 40 out to the 44. So this is a long time. I think they had Jermaine Gresham at tight end too, didn't they? Throw over the middle is a perfect strike. And it's Sterling Shepard with a first down. So Oklahoma picks up 15. They're right back in Tennessee territory. They're wasting some time here. Pig Howard in motion. Play fake, pressure. That's the last thing you want to happen. A sack, Devante Bond. The second sack of the ball game. Yeah, just a lot of action in the backfield. Jordan Wade, number 93, actually is going to be the guy that disrupts the play. From inside, and then Bond comes from the outside. Too much faking, too much action. Later, they're at the 24-yard line of the Sooners. This time, Hurd's going to get wrapped up. Nice play. Charles Walker, a kid they've been really waiting on. Highly talented out of Garland, Texas, a 300. 1977, 88,000, over 100 here tonight. And a loss by Dobbs on the play, and it was Stephen Parker again coming around. Here's Kamara trying to sweep the right side, and he's going to be dropped. What right about at the line of scrimmage by Dominic Alexander? Everywhere to bring Tennessee back to where they once were, and they're getting closer. That's what everybody's so excited around here. 
That's not a good play. That ball is That's still tough. free, and yeah. it's Stephen Parker. Have they blown it dead? I think the referee blew it dead. I think he blew it dead. Good job by Oakland. It's ripped up, up, and you think you can hear the whistles in the background. Ball's coming out right there. His knees weren't down yet. Their own ten-yard line, haven't they? It just feels that way. It feels like they're playing uphill the whole game. Mayfield got it complete to Mixon. There was a lot of traffic there, and he tucked it in there, and Mixon made some. Tennessee brings everybody up close. P. Ryan's going to get the first down. Rocky top short, just so Tennessee can hear what they're doing offensively. And her dropped the ball. Oklahoma trying to scoop it, and I think Tennessee got it back. And that is two times in this ball game. Second down at 14. Mixon's going to flush out of that backfield. Empty set for Baker Mayfield. A quick throw to the outside, and a good one completes. D.D. Westbrook, who hasn't been used too much tonight. Mayfield complete to midfield. Jarvis Baxter took a big shot, but a pickup of seven. It's a rushing the passer, but they don't want anything to get behind him in the pass game. P. Ryan broke a tackle, broke a second, and bounces out to the outside to get a first down. P. Ryan, nice run off tackle, disappearing in a hurry. Mayfield across the middle, a little bit behind D.D. Westbrook, but he got it. And fights his way down around the 15-yard line. Does a nice job protecting the football as he's fighting for that extra yardage, too. Watch him cover it up with both hands. He feels defenders coming towards him, and he does a good job of protecting it. Down just outside the 15-yard line, first down. Wide receiver screen, and now Duran Neal decides he wants to go the other way. Well, I guess he made something out of it. <laughs> Take the snap. And give it off to Piran. So it's tailback to tailback and might be enough for the first down. Goal from the two. Under center is Mayfield. Play action. Bootleg. He's going to try to. No, he does throw. And it's caught by Piran for a touchdown. Wow. Boy, Baker Mayfield held on to that until the very last moment that he could. I thought he was going to throw it out of the back of the end zone to avoid the sack. And instead, he makes a nice throw to Pirine. And Pirine made a nice adjustment to the ball. He was the intended receiver on the flat coming out quickly. Wasn't over. Pulled one out of his hip pocket. Caps an 80-yard drive and 14 plays, and he finds Pirine. Yeah. In the back of the end zone to make it a ball game, 17-10. From the 20-yard line, Tennessee with just a touchdown lead now as Jalen Hurd has stood up and actually dropped for a loss. Devontae Bond makes another play. Seasonably cool tonight for mid-September in the South. Perfect night for football. It's been a perfect night for the Tennessee fans so far, but now they're bottled up. And they've got a third and long coming up, so and some life by the Sooners defense. And Josh Dobbs. Sideline is fired up, and they're hoping to get good field position from Sterling Shepard on the end of this kick. He's got a shot at this one from the 26. Shepard to the outside. Nice return near the 40. Straight up the middle. And Samaj P. Rod's got a first down. Nice second effort, too, to pick up about four. Mayfield pumps once, pressure from behind, trying to get away and did, and I don't know how. And I'm not sure that Shepard didn't catch that ball. Derek Barnett in pursuit. Wow, what an effort by Shepard on the sideline, and Mayfield eluding pressure. That thing looked like it was going out of bounds, and Shepard got his hands out there. Mayfield. Fires a dart to Westbrook, and Westbrook dropped the ball momentarily, but he got back on it himself. The yard. Whoops. Movement. 
False start on the right guard as Pirine takes it down to the one-yard line, but it's not going to matter. I don't see a flag, though, Brad. Mayfield, the fade to the corner to Shepard. He got it! Touchdown! And now the question is, does Bob Stoops play for two to win on the road? Or do they go with the extra point? Boy, beautiful throw, beautiful route. Inside technique by the corner. Shepard moved inside and then faded to the out. And a perfect throw by Mayfield out over the outside shoulder. And then Shepard goes and catches it at the high point. That is perfect execution at the goal line. I've got my answer as the extra point unit comes out. This is Tails. What's your call? Tails. Tails. Tails is his call. Mike explained it better than I could have. It's Tails. You want it. They want to play defense. defense. Which end do you want to play on? This end? <laughs> And they're going, you know what? Everybody's in orange and white on either end. It doesn't matter much. No. One mistake and it's over. Down the middle, perfect to Shepard. And Shepard wheels his way down to the six yard line. Boy, how about the way Sterling Shepard has stepped up for this? Going out in the flat and the receiver's coming in. Mayfield waiting on the snap. Keeps it himself. He's in. Touchdown. What a gutsy quarterback he's been in the fourth quarter and overtime is yet to come. Baker Mayfield from a yard out keeps the game alive. P. Ryan. Broke one tackle, got away from a second. Bulls his way for seven yards. Maybe they didn't keep him fresh, but they're missing some guys. Big third down. Mayfield's got to go wide open. It's Shepard. Sterling Shepard. He dives in. Did he get to the end zone? Or did he step out of bounds? He's in. Touchdown. Well, Malik Foreman was in coverage, and he fell down. Watch number 13 fall down on the break. He gets tripped up by the feet of Shepard, and that's when Mayfield saw a wide-open guy, and he's been the go-to guy in the second half for Oklahoma. Watch this ballet move. One foot down, two feet down, wow. lean in, touchdown. 18 yards, Sterling Shepard, and a Sterling performance on that sideline. Howard in motion. One mistake, and it's over. Dobbs hit as he throws. Almost caught over there at the one yard line by Howard. Right now, if you're Josh Dobbs, you're thinking, let's get at least half this yardage. We've got two downs to get another first down here. Ethan Wolf, the tight end in motion on third down and 12. Dobbs sets, fires, intercepted, and it's over. Oklahoma comes from behind and upsets what looked like a sure win for Tennessee. Instead, the Sooner fans celebrate at Neyland Stadium. Zach Sanchez, as he did six times a year ago, steps in front of an opponent quarterback's pass and ends the game. Amazing comeback by Oklahoma. Well, a great play by Sanchez, but I think Josh Dobbs tried to get it all in one play. Instead of looking underneath to Ethan Wolf, he forced a ball in there, and Sanchez came right underneath the throw for the interception. That was a hard throw. If he throws underneath to Ethan Wolf, maybe he has another shot at fourth down. The largest home lead ever for the Tennessee Volunteers to let get away. And the Sooners go to 2-0, oh, Tennessee's 1-1. One one. For Todd Blackledge and Holly Rowe, Brad Nessler saying so long as we send it to Starkville and Dave Patch and Brian Greasy.